Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we went ahead and upgraded our maximized platform here. Eight platforms all in all. I might need more in the future, but right now, I think we're doing pretty well. So no sharing of lines whatsoever. There's even one spare line there. We can make use of that. And we probably will in the near future. But for now, I think we'll leave that there. Or actually, there is one sharing in here. The orange line is the goods line. If you remember, it's not yet earning money. But we are delivering some goods now. Like one good there. <laughs> so we are shipping some goods from this area here. That's traveling via train. Reaching the central station, we can call it. And getting delivered now to South Emsol. So if we look here, I don't think we did have any deliveries yet yeah that's the first good ever <laughs> yeah that's the way but i was thinking if we can deliver it there then we can probably deliver it to the other cities as well like we could deliver it here and we can deliver it to hastings especially since this line is not earning so much so hastings is losing a lot of money and that's because i put in a lot of wagons there for logs but the logs really aren't producing that much, like only 14. This is, yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but the production really went down here. So we do have capacity for 130 logs, but we, can, we only bring back around 20 every single time. So it's not worth it at all. So I was thinking, maybe we can reduce the number of wagons here and instead turn, all, turn four of those into wagons for goods. Yeah? boxcars so to speak so let me make this guy go back to the depot and we'll upgrade him and then we'll do the same with the other train thank that i think that will be a good move so what we can do is we remove four of these and uh wait wait a minute let me see you have capacity for 95 food i don't think that's going to be 95 in each cart would be let's see let's try to do some math here this would need around this would go around eight maybe yeah maybe four would do maybe four will be enough let's see one two three four doesn't look that good <laughs> in terms of train composition but this is only temporary yeah then go back to your line that should unlock goods delivery so not only can this goods factory deliver goods to salt ash it can not only deliver to south m salt it can now also deliver to hastings and then we can also get some wagons in here for these trains instead of just having completely uh wagons for logs here we can add maybe two or three for goods that is something we definitely can do. But should we? We should, I guess. Let me see here. We need some more trucks in Rothbury. Rothbury is which one? It's the green one. Alright, let's add maybe two more or one more. No, actually, it's just enough. This guy will pick all of that up. Yep, no need. Right, so but yeah, we can upgrade this. But before everything else, we'll have a look. These guys are earning, the planks are earning, even though, look at that, only two planks, only two wagons are filled, and that's because of the distance. And since we're in easy, the game is very forgiving when it comes to that, even though we're only using two or three carts. <laughs> Cars, yeah. But this is shaping up, this is increasing bit by bit. So we should be ramping up the production pretty soon. We do have lots of logs in here. And uh, the demand for planks is increasing as well, thanks to the goods factory increasing bit by bit in here. Keep high production to upgrade in 7 months, that's good. Alright, perfect. We can go actually, that's what I want. Although, we don't have any more planks here, that's bad. Hopefully you have something for us. You have 9, alright. And how about you? You have 16, perfect, alright. We're saved. Let's go and fast forward this a bit. Let's see how things will go. This guy should have more planks for us, right? 
Yep, 26 planks. Not so much. Hmm. And the goods line is delivering something. I really like that bar there. Oh yes, by the way, yes, I'm recording this. The performance update patch has gone live already. So they have released it fully now, thankfully. Right, 17 goods now. That's not bad at all. Previously, there was just one good. <laughs> okay, that's nice. We do have some logs here. Uh, 39 logs waiting for the planks line. Perfect. And this guy is getting all the planks available. All right. So it's not a problem of it's not a problem of the trains. It's a problem of supply. So the planks really need to step up. Look at that. He only is carrying two of them. Second one isn't even filled. Right. So yeah, we'll have to upgrade that. Before that though, wow, look at that, all that traffic. Man, that kind of sucks. I would guess, yeah, when it gets here, it's pretty hectic. Where are they going though? Aha. Aha, opportunity. We can have a simple train going there. Going from here to there. Neston to wherever. Yeah, because I can go and just fast forward this and the goods production will be increasing on its own. But I think it's better to do something more productive with our time. Like while we're waiting for that, let's work on a different aspect. Oh, and this guy upgraded. This is one of those new trams, 23. The original one had 16. Nice. Passenger, still good. Yeah, so I think, hmm, we can go and try improve Hastings. Currently, there is nothing which goes here. We can go and have like, uh, let's see. We do have trains going here. We can link them up via coaches, maybe? Let's have a look. What do we have for coaches? We have the Merc, 65 kilometers per hour. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what can we do here? We can go and grow this, these passenger lines. So if you look at Hastings, it's very small. Even though we're getting some stuff there, excellent when it comes to jobs, the population is not doing very well. Because I think we don't... Yeah, we're not transporting to other cities. And we're not going to other cities we're not linking them so like in there we can make a train there and in here we can make a ship maybe just to test it out actually a ship would sound very nice just for a change you know let's try and i did see that they it was said in the patch notes that they did improve the ship routing so the ships don't get confused anymore hopefully that means more income and uh, less expenses for the ships overall because as of now the ships barely earned anything at least from my end docks outside of navigable waters right okay we can go and maybe dock somewhere over here yeah it's not too bad make one as well over here I don't want it too close to the bridge because it is... The ships need to make a U-turn at some point. And if you get close to that too much, you have no space to go around. Okay, that way. And let's make a depot where? Let's make a depot in here. Maybe in the middle. Or actually... Wait a minute, huh? So this one... In, if you look at that, if you turn that on, this num numpad 3, we see the navigable waters and you can see that this is cutting it off because it's too low. So we can actually work on something like that. We can improve it. Make it a medium country road maybe. And yeah, it's completely wrecked. So if you combine it like so, medium country road, increase that bit. There we go. That makes it possible. 475k. So it's not, <laughs> it's 
it's a bit steep. <laughs> but it looks nice. It's nice overall. Anyway. Okay, let's put a depot in. Now, wow, this episode is not turning out the way I imagined it. Not at all. But it's fine. I like it. Alright, so let us... Hmm, I want it aligned. Something like that. There we go. Oh, very nice sounds. Alright, we're buying a ship for the first time in this series. Passenger. We have two options. 100 and 125. I want the faster one. Although this one will not get phased out, the Zurich. Zurich is somewhere in... where? Switzerland? Hmm. And the Schaffhausen. Roman's horn is... Okay, so which one do we pick? Which one looks cooler? I think I'm going to go with... Hmm, Power is 441. Weight is 135. It is getting a bit late. Like, it's 1969 and this will get phased out 1985. So might as well go with the Zurich. Let's try that out, shall we? Was that expensive? 671k. It kind of was. Make sure Hastings North is connected to the street network. Yeah. Thanks for reminding. But I have that in my sights. So it's complaining that this guy is not connected to a road. <laughs> so, okay, let's connect it then. Mm, let's go maybe something like that there we go so with that connected are you okay now beautiful oh that screenshot worthy we might be a bit late to the party only got boats now but it's better to be late than never <laughs> All right, let's go and make a bus stop here. Let's connect the, sh the dock to the rest of the city. Because if they want to work, they want to do something, we have to give them that option of getting to the ship in the first place. So we can go and uh, have it like... What's the closest one? That way. Yes. And then we can go around placing bus stops in here. Maybe just go around like... Hmm. We can go around like from here to here. And then crossing over to this place. Going there. Stopping over here. Stopping over there. It's going to do a bit of a circular thing here. And then stopping here in this intersection. Why can't I pick it? That was weird. Alright. Doing something like that. Uh, no, not that, like that. In here. Was I, was I, what, was what I was meaning to do. There we go. I think that's good enough. And then we can connect all those with a line. Going from here, 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 and here. So it's uh, circular. Let's say that's the bus in Stockport. Although this is just one way, like only counterclockwise. We might need something like a clockwise direction, but for now I think it will do. Let's adjust as we go. We'll need a depot for sure. Like that there. Add some buses in. The new ones, of course. One, two, three, four. Add you two boss bus in Stockport that will make the frequency 51 seconds that's not bad at all nice that should get this thing moving am I forgetting something hopefully not <laughs> how are you doing good sir <laughs> all right let's go and work on Hastings here because the the more we the more we develop this city the more its demand will be and the more our goods can get delivered here. So right now, they're only needing 91. But if we grow it, that can double, triple, or even more. 
right so let us create a bus station here as well let's make a nice one uh, we can actually pick that one can't we yeah we can do it like that that would be nice a circular thing in terms of homes we want them to go hmm let's do a bit of circular thing as well bus stops from this place so if they want to do some shopping they want to go here oh come on there we go if they want to work they want to go here yes and if they want to go around they can go somewhere hmm this, this doesn't look like the best route but fine can stop over somewhere we have to connect this first go straight go straight there we go so bus stops maybe one here for when it gets developed and then the next one could be here and go here <laughs> and uh, it might seem a bit far-fetched but go there and then there <laughs> So if we look at the line, we can go from, where was it? Let's start at the station. Wasn't it? Uh, wait a minute. Okay, let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it goes back here. And then it can go stop over. Hmm. Good question. I think we can do with more bus stops. One there. And then one here. So we can add that and that. And that's a circle. Nice. Now we do have some depots here already. Let's add five buses. It's going all out here. Line two. That is the bus towards bus circling around Hastings. And this line is the... Oop, what's new? Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> and we have the hovercraft now. Maybe should have waited for... <laughs> you know what? This guy, go home. Let's replace you with the hovercraft. A new goods wagon. A new train, a new bus, which we just deployed here. So let's sell all of you. And let's buy the new one then. One, two, three, four only. Since this, this must be a better bus, all in all. Okay. <laughs> the bus is here. Go home. Let's get three buses. The MAN bus. Beautiful. We think it's very easy to sell off those existing buses. Alright, and then we get some hovercrafts. I've heard that this is quite profitable compared to the existing ones. Compared to these big ones. Because it's very fast. Look at that. 93 kilometers. So we can go and maybe get 3. And assign that to line 1. Nice sounds. So line 1 is actually, let's say, the boat. Stockport to Hastings. And let's color it blue just because it's in the water. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. So the frequency on this guy is 107 seconds. What is he doing? Chilling. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Literally. Okay, we got it. We do have some passengers now. Minimal passengers. But that should get the job done. That should, at the very least, make our cities grow better. Ooh, look at this. Increasing. 220 now. 324 potential. Perfect. You're learning. 
Although I did forget to make this guy into a good strain. Make those last four into good swagons. Like this guy. So this guy is carrying how much? Nothing. No goods. What? <laughs> okay, let me check here. Uh huh. What's happening here? Goods for South Emsel, just one piece. Fine. And then oil, someone is dropping off fuel and oil. Fine. Someone is dropping off stone. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Alright, how is how are the planks doing? Planks are doing fine. 270 now. Okay, that's good. So we are progressing. And we are getting more demand on hmm, bus in Rothbury. Maybe you can do it with one more bus. You know what? Let's do that. Bus in Rothbury, that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's let me sell you off. Let's replace that with one, two, three, four, five new buses to Rothbury. There we go. Happy? And these guys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, how old are you? Can you auto replace? 12 years. 12 years. 30 years, yes you can. Alright, that's better. So you can actually auto replace the MANs, which can go 80 kilometers. Perfect. That's perfect for intercity coaches. Let's do the same here. Actually, I might have been able to do that on the other side. So... The Chatham Rothbury, I might be able to do that here since they should be pretty old as well, these guys. 13 years, exactly. Okay, that's good. Speed that up a bit. Actually, we don't need to speed it up. We just need to monitor them and do something else. Yeah, I, I rarely speed up the game anymore because there's so much more you can do. And if you're trying to wait for something, you can just go and do something else in the meantime. Like this one. Okay, you're good. You're good. These two lines, alright. Bus in Chatham, it's good as well. 100%, yes. And Chatham Rothbury, still not. Still quite a lot. What's happening here? Need any help? Not really. Okay, cool. So we've done that bit. Um, what is this thing? This should get transformed. Once it unloads, this should upgrade. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that seems to work just fine. Let's let this cook up. Uh, let's see, are there any new buses? Not really, 12 years. 12 years, it's just that the path is very long, so it takes them a while to arrive. We're getting there, three wagons full now, previously it was just two. Hmm, lots of things in here. Nice. Lots of oil, lots of fuel. Lots of oil indeed. We need a bit of help there. Okay. Mm, M-A-N, I think it's the pink one, right? Yeah. Pink one is the plastic line. Let's get, I don't know how many more. Two more. M-A-N, pink. Two more. Go to the plastic route. There we go. I really wish there was a lock functionality. So even if I press delete, this won't close. You know when you're really watching for something? Ooh, nice plastics. <laughs> nice. Nice tanks, how they look. Cool. Right. Anything going on? A bit of traffic, but not really much. No problem. We can handle it. Uh, in here, I do have planks and lots of plastic. That's good. In here, I do have a bit of planks. Production isn't going that well though. Hmm. It says you try to deliver more plastic, but isn't the problem planks? Yeah, that, that message there hasn't really been very helpful for me ever since. 
There we go, more planks. Just a bit more planks. Alright. This line fully upgraded, perfect, 100% and close. What else? Do we need to upgrade everything else? We might need to. Mm, let's say upgrade to the new one. To the new one. Yeah, we don't need to force them right now, but when they are ready to upgrade, I think it would be nice if they upgrade to the new one instead of the old. It helps speed up things overall and keeps things less cluttered as well. Because if the buses can have more capacity, then they can carry more and would occupy less of the traffic, if you know what I mean. Less space. Okay, good. Visible all. There we go. How are we doing? The good strain is still losing money. Salt Ash is earning a lot 6.68 million. Always full, always good. And what else about here? The Hastings train is earning a bit. I think this second one we can go and upgrade. Yeah, we can uh, remove four wagons maybe. Make them into goods wagons. That is very good. Piling up on the planks here, the logs here. So we can go and get how many? 78 logs all in all. There are 64. Hmm, that might be... That's okay right now, but when this gets to 800, that won't be enough. So we'll have to tweak this train up a bit again. But for now, it's perfect. So if you see, just perfect, right? Seven off, but it's more than enough for now. All right, this next train though, I think we can upgrade and add more goods in it. Let me see. Do we have excess goods? Although, if you look at it, Hastings only has one good demand. Oh wow, it's... <laughs> That's making me dizzy. What the heck is happening? Alright, some, someone's unloading and someone's loading. So it's totally ruining the picture. Yeah, we have one piece of good in Hastings. Going to Hastings, so we don't really need to prioritize adding tank. Uh, adding uh, boxcars right now. Alright, that's good. Some passengers now, one at one apiece. Um, do we get any passengers here at all? We do have three of them. Nice. Look at that. And are these guys all gonna wait for? Ah, perfect. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this is a profitable route. Going here for... It's fine. It's building up. It's building up. Maybe we can get more passengers even. Wait a minute. Frequency is 109 seconds. Maybe we can add one more. Oh, sell you. Don't need you anymore. We need more of a fast-paced uh, thing here, rather than that bulk delivery. Okay, now I'm thinking, can we ship anything by ship? <laughs> like cargo. But that will be an entirely new supply chain. So might not be the best to explore that right now. I would rather optimize our existing ones first. Vroom. Okay. And I missed it again, this guy. Ah, it's okay. Let's leave him be. So if you look at Hastings now, mediocre population, 29% usage of public transpo. Hopefully that will increase pretty soon. I'm wishing. Right, we are getting some passengers, that's good. 81 seconds, 78 seconds, that's very good frequency. Now the frequency is not something I can explain. It's not really something I know. But it feels like anything below 100 is good. Anything above that might be restricting how passengers see the transportation as, as profitable. Not profitable, but desirable or not. Look at that. Teleporting passengers. So they walk all the way here and then they get all teleported there. Which is fine. But yeah, we are getting something here. Imagine that. 
8 passengers. Zero, no! 15, yeah! That's how cool that is. Oh, yeah. I like that. Add that to the reflection of the water. Perfect screenshot. Nice. In a sky and a mountain in the distance. I like. A class 218. Let's go window shopping, shall we? If we look at our available trains here, our locos, we did get two new ones. Class 103, which goes 200 kilometers per hour. Very good tractive effort, although it costs 16 million. Ah, the flagship of the German rolling stock. I see. So that's why it's so, it's so expensive. The next one is much more affordable. 140 kilometers, 235 tractive effort. Not bad at all. Next time we buy a train, maybe we can go and see if we can use something there. Do you need help? Man, this guy looks old. <laughs> 24 years, 40 kilometers per hour. And he's the only one. The, the, sing the lone truck. <laughs> Man, this, his truck belongs in a museum already. Will you get replaced already? 25%. Go and switch out, dude. There we go. <laughs> Felt so bad for that guy. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Much better now. Much faster. Why is he stopping? Oh, wait, he's turning. Alright. <laughs> That's how small this city is. Only one truck needed. And like a 40 year old truck there. Zero, man. But 13. So now we should get more passengers in here. And the next one is almost full. Nice. That's a pretty good turnaround. Let's see, are we earning anything here? We actually just did 8k now. And it's, go it's just improving. That's nice. So we can connect all the other cities going here and they can connect via ship which might, might not be the best, most efficient way. Maybe the next best thing is to go and make a train line going from here, connect that here and I don't know, maybe end there. And then from this city, go from Neston, Northbury to South Emsall. That is something definitely we can explore. These platforms look so small like, next to these trains now. And this is already a... Uh, oh, this is just a 160 platform. Okay, fine. Might need to upgrade that pretty soon. Goods check. You're carrying 21. Um, 242 all in all. Nothing is really piling up. That's good. Oil here is getting sucked up completely. Kind of. Not quite, but just enough. And wow. Alright. Alright, we need some help. 97. 97, 16, I don't know. Maybe 6 or 7? Let's add 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the plastic line. And in here, I think we need more. Wait, let's add 3 to the goods line. That's that off pastel blue thing. Um, the blue one, which is, I think, this one. Yeah, go to the goods line. There we go. Nice. Go and help out, guys. We need you. 212 production. We are stepping up. Although plastic is a bit of a bottleneck now. But more trucks here means more production here, hopefully. Yeah, because right now we do have oil but it's stepping up yeah 282 and these guys are full i would assume not quite but they have something full of oil nice all right good bit of traffic there i think we're in a good place we did expand a lot expand to this side we made those ships these hovercraft vehicles Load up, please. 
seven. Hmm. I'm thinking. Will it be better if you wait for full? Maybe not. Let's just keep it as is. Frequency is what? 80 seconds. Oh, 282k. Look at that. Income. <laughs> the buses themselves are not earning so much, but that will improve eventually. In here, the buses are earning here. Look at that. And 275k on the boat. I love it. Beautiful hovercrafts. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Really productive and really fun. We explored something new. Aside from our usual optimizations, but don't get me wrong, I love optimizing this supply chain. You can just do this the whole time and not expand anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it would be useful to expand every now and then. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a nice day. Things are shaping up. Bye-bye.